For the first time, New Zealand has a sophisticated patient safety initiative that will reduce harm caused by surgical site infections. The Surgical Site Infection Improvement Program provides district health boards with best practice quality improvement interventions to help them reduce surgical site infection risk. The second to be implemented is the Surgical Skin Antisepsis Preparation Intervention. Standardising the way health professionals prepare the incision site prior to hip and knee arthroplasty surgery ensures that all patients receive best practice care, reducing surgical site infection risk. Preparing the skin before surgery is very important. Every square centimetre of our body is colonised by thousands and thousands of bacteria because if one doesn't prepare the skin, one can, in the act of making the wound, take germs from the patient's skin into the patient's body. And some of those germs have the potential to cause devastating infections. It's an age-old question to be asked, what is the most effective skin preparation? The literature would tell us that there is nothing better than chlorhexidine and alcohol, or iodine and alcohol mixtures, and both are, in my opinion, acceptable to use. There are two types of preoperative skin preparations that appear to be more effective at preventing surgical site infections. These are chlorhexidine gluconate plus alcohol of at least 70%, and povidone iodine plus alcohol of at least 70%. The benefits of using chlorhexidine gluconate include strong affinity for binding to the skin, high antibacterial activity, prolonged residual effects on rebound bacterial growth, and exhibits excellent activity against gram-positive and good activity against gram-negative vegetative organisms and fungi. The benefits of using povidone iodine include Povidone iodine is generally associated with low toxicity and little irritation. Exhibits excellent activity against gram-positive and good activity against gram-negative vegetative organisms and fungi. It has short-lived persistent activity. Patients that are allergic to chlorhexidine gluconate should receive povidone iodine with alcohol of at least 70% as an alternative. More detailed information can be found in the Surgical Site Infection Improvement Program Implementation Guidelines on the Health Quality and Safety Commission website. I certainly am excited about a future with less surgical site infection. Firstly, from the patient's point of view, it's going to mean that they will have less pain and suffering and that their recovery from surgery will be more rapid. From a surgeon's point of view, wound infection is one of the very potent sources of damage that we can cause. Anything that will reduce wound infection is A, good for the patient, and B, good for the surgeon.